just to see how we're going. I was going to say, does this network get tired, I wonder? <laughs> we're counting it so hard. So you see the dial only goes to 300. We're already over 500. Oh, wow. And I think there's a good chance we might get a little higher. We've been seeing, on average, 650, that sort of speed uh, most of the time. So. Oh, nice. Okay. 5.57. Not too, bad, not too shabby. I was going to say a lot faster than most people have on their uh, on our home robot. Right. So that's pretty good. And that's one of the opportunities, you know, for us is that the 5G is not just a mobility offering. We also were able to do 5G residential. Oh. We did four cities uh, previously, and what we did was we did with the pre-global standard. We introduced 5G residential. We're seeing on average speeds between 600 and 800 megs the lowest in uh, LA, uh, Indianapolis, places like that. And so what we will do is, is we build out the 30 cities we've committed to this year. Behind that, we'll build the mobility first, and then we'll introduce 5G residential as well. So if you're getting you know, up to gig speeds out the street, we would expect that you're getting similar speeds at home as well. Okay. So that's a real alternative to yeah. people who have cable. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I got rid of mine recently. Oh, you did? <laughs> yes. but, I hope um, you're a Verizon customer. I was about to say, so I've been a Verizon customer for a very long time. Good. Um, probably, I've been here 15 years, maybe like 13 years. I actually moved from London. Okay. Whereabouts in London? Oh, okay. So yeah. I was in London for, I'm actually from Ireland, from okay. London, but I spent 29 years living in London before I came to, uh, yeah. to Verizon. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I, um, I love Verizon. I, Andy knows, I worked at Verizon for a while, but um, what are the devices that are using this um, 5G now? So the first device, is the Motorola, and then coming in reasonably swift succession after that, there are a whole series. So we have um, a 5G hotspot from Insego that's coming, but we also have coming quite soon, or we haven't announced the date just yet, is the uh, Samsung Galaxy S10 5G, which we have an exclusive launch window on uh, Verizon. Then we have uh, the LG P50 that's coming as well, and then later in the year, there will be more devices. We would expect probably by the end of the year, there will be eight or nine high-end uh, handsets and a number of uh, hotspots, as well as the next generation of the CPE, uh, the routers for the 5G yes. residential source. Okay, that's wonderful. Also, um, with the 5G in Verizon, is it is it a more of a cost? So what it is, is it's a very simple, it's a just literally, it's only a 10 buck upgrade okay. to go from 4G to 5G, okay. which you know, we think is uh, incredible value. And so for as little as 10 bucks, and actually for the introduction, this device retail price was about uh, $450, and we're actually offering it at the moment for the 230 plus 200 for the motor mod that gives you 5G. So for actually less than the full price of a Motorola Z3, you can only be on the 5G network. So you get basically a 5G 5G device for a 4G price, and then only 10 bucks extra a month for 5G service. So I think that's a pretty that's a swell deal. deal. I think it's a good deal. So, um, and this is in the stores today, right? Yes. So in the stores. So we announced uh, that we will do 30 cities overall this year. But the first two are uh, Chicago and Minneapolis. So we open up the stores, and what we will do in the coming weeks and months is we will announce the other cities that are coming, and then we will start merchandising and selling 5G products. More Broadly across the uh, across the network, but for the first few weeks, we're here in Chicago and in Minneapolis, and then you'll see a start to offer the next Okay, for people that don't have clue, what's, what's five G, four G, three G? So okay, so I mean we um, see it in great. the corner of Absolutely. our phones, but so really important. So. Uh, the G represents the generation of technology. So the very first generations you think about was basically voice. Yes. And then the next generation was voice and text. And then the, uh, the next generation was kind of, you know, you have this idea of the web. And it was kind of web browsing in a kind of very basic uh, way. But it wasn't streaming or video or anything else. Then 4G really was kind of the era of video. Think about 5G as all of those things at a significantly improved capacity. But then also think about it as the era of VR, AR, and the era of ultra low latency. Now you might say, what does latency mean for somebody? If you're a gamer, you know exactly what latency is, but you call it click to bang. Because you know what? You know that you want to get your retaliation in first. So if you're an online gamer, the speed of your response is the most important thing. Okay. Well, latency in the network is the thing that gives you the fastest possible response. Another way of looking at it is if you're trading as a as a trader in Wall Street. Yep. So you're trading, you want to get your trade in before. Right, exactly. You know what? 
on the Verizon 5G network with ultra low latency, you can pray from the comfort of your own home like a 5G Wall Street trader. How about that? So you can be the 5G home trader going head to head with the 5G Wall Street trader. Okay. That's really, really exciting. AR, VR, bringing the, all of that information to people in a way that makes it seamless and easy. And also things like taking some of the complexity out of the devices, because we can bring that to the edge of the network, do all the computing and all the clever stuff there, make the devices simpler, easier, lower cost and more accessible. So it's the next generation of the All righty, pleasure, lovely to meet you.